Hey, Connie here. Welcome to Never Sink Farm. I'm in the uh, tomato house here. And uh, to answer the question, how much water do you need on a farm? Uh, it's a question I get a lot, especially um, with customers looking to get uh, wobblers uh, because they're starting to think about watering the field and watering houses. And uh, a home water system is not going to water a farm. Um, it's just, you're going to always be starving your vegetables and uh, they need a lot of water, right? So I think, you know, an inch a week is something they say, you know, at least an inch a week. So if it rains half an inch, then you can water half an inch. But you're also using it for washing, you're using it for uh, watering things in, uh, for germinating seed. Inside, you're not going to get any rain, so that's going to be an inch regardless. So if you do the calculation, it's quite a lot of water. So to do, um, if you have, let's say, you know, a house water system at six gallons uh, per minute, right? Because it's measured in flow, right? So it's a flow rate from your well or from your town water. And that's how much, it's not like pressure. Pressure is force and flow is amount of water that you're gonna get. So you can fill up a five gallon bucket to kind of test it, sort of. Um, but that's five gallons, you time it how long it uh, fills and you figure out your gallons per minute. But on farm water, it's gonna fill up. If you have the right amount of water, that's, it's gonna be hard to do that test because it's gonna fill up incredibly quickly. Uh, but let's say you have home water, which is, you know, about six gallons per minute. Well, if you're only watering during the day and uh, washing things and things like that, it's not going to be enough. So let's say, let's say you have half an acre. Let's say your farm in total is half an acre, indoors, outdoors, and you want to water at least uh, an inch uh, of irrigation a week on your crops. It's going to take you, you know, probably about four days, five days to water, probably closer to five days, five days watering eight hours a day to, to do that. Which means you have to water all day and then be moving one sprinkler around because you're not gonna be able to do it at once. Uh, and that's just not, you know, you just can't do that. You, you know, there's no way you can just sit there every 15 minutes be moving a sprinkler around, um, you know, to try to water your entire field. And then at the same time, you won't be able to wash vegetables at the time because your sprinklers will be taking all of your gallons per minute. So to figure out how much you need, uh, it's going to be based on how big you are, how much watering you're going to do. Um, and then you got to throw in some, you know, a few gallons per minute for the wash station and everything. So I think for like a half an acre farm, you know, you're looking at like 25 to 30 gallons a minute mi minimum. And when you're, let's say, up to an acre, I think you get close to, you know, 75 gallons. It's a lot of water, you know, because you got to be able to water. I, I want to water my entire field in a couple hours, you know, no more. You know, because you just can't be doing it all the time and you have to be, you know, at the wash station using water and you got to be able to do things simultaneously. You know, drip's on here right now. The drip is on somewhere else. And just the drip in here, you know, it's like a 120-foot house. Um, that's going to take, you know, anywhere from 15 to 25 gallons a minute just to be having the drip on in here. It takes a lot of water to be able to make that happen. Um, so in terms of an aquifer, each head is anywhere from like 1.8 to 2.5. And I always say at least reserve 2.5 to be sure. And that's per wobbler, right? So one wobbler, 2.5, two wobblers, five. Um, so every wob wobbler is using water, right? So it's how much water do you have to use? And this isn't a high flow head or anything. You know, there's less flow, but then you've got to use more of them, right? Because, you know, if you had like a half a gallon flow head, it's just not going to spray wide. It's not going to water. Because your purpose isn't to water slowly, it's to water quickly um, so that you can get it done. 
because I have seen some farms where they have four gallons per minute and you cannot water the field within a week and so they're always starving for water. Your vegetables are always going to be smaller, they're going to be weak, uh, they're going to grow slowly and you don't save any money. So it's, you know, it's a really good investment. It's not just about you know, the gallons per minute at that single point in time, right? Having 50 gallons a minute to be able to water the entire field because you can't water the entire field at once unless you had like 150 gallons per minute. That's with all the sprinklers on or all your drip on, regardless, right? So what happens is you have to section out your entire field and your farm into smaller sections. So I'll put a calculation below. It's just very simple. It's just, you know, but you got to change it how you want it. Because the normal is like one inch per week of water if you're not having rain or you want to water inside, which doesn't get any rain. It's about one inch, which is 27,000 gallons uh, per acre um, to be able to get that. So you obviously have to, you know, cut up your farm into sections. And I cut them into... They're eight rows by 100 feet, so you can see uh, a set of aquifers down each section. And how many sections can you have on at one time is going to really be the point of all this. So if you have 10 gallons per minute, right, it's like an average household. Uh, we, we started the farm with eight gallons per minute. So, you know, we've done this calculation before to figure out, you know, how many sections you need to have. So if you have a one-acre farm, and you have 10 gallons per minute, you're going to need about 16 sections. That's if everything's working perfectly. And then you have to have each section on for about three hours. Right? So how many sections can you really get done in a day? Maybe three. Right? So you're looking at like five and a half days of doing nothing but watering to get your one inch. That means no washing station, none of that stuff. That's to get the 27,000 gallons. Right? It's just the way it is. Unless you're coming out here at night and you know, putting on some sections at night for three hours, that kind of thing. That's what it comes down to, is really that pain in the ass and being able to water uh, the whole field entirely and when you want to. Okay? So for comparison, when we, we switch from 8 to 30 gallons, then to 75. And at 75, we have about 1.2 acres in production. We're able to water the entire field in a day, right? Because we can keep multiple sections on. We can do half the field at once and then the other half of the field. So in the whole day, before the day is done, the whole field is watered. And so throughout the week, we have enough water to be able to wash vegetables every single day to put timers on the prop house and the six hoop houses so that we can put drip on because that takes just as much water as overhead, actually more. Uh, you know, because it's about 150 gallons per minute to water an acre uh, with a drip and it's about 130 with a wobbler. Um, you know, it's you, you, just because of, of, you know, but you can have different flows on drip and everything else. So it's all averages. Okay, but getting back to my 75, and then we can also water any section that we just planted or seeded. We can water the carrots constantly to make sure they're germinated, and we don't have to worry about it. It was finally the number we didn't have to worry about. Even at 30 gallons per minute, like yes, you can function a farm on eight, seven, sure, but it's just about efficiency. And when you're running a business and you're trying to make a profit, and you have limited hours in the day and limited time and everything depends on water, it's not as profitable. It's just, it's just something that makes life very difficult as a farmer to have to worry about, uh, oh, I gotta water this for three, I gotta water this for three hours. Then you can't you know, wash the vegetables. And when you, you think you're getting it done, and I thought at eight I was getting it done, but everything was still a little bit starving for water all the time. It was still not plentiful. Um, and obviously it's gonna depend on your holding capacity of your soil and the weather and everything else. But I just wanna give you, you know, an overview on 
water and what is necessary to run as profitable a farm business as you can, if that's the goal, right? If it's your home gardener, it does, you know, it's very different, okay? So I'll put some of the numbers down below so you can check it out. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.